Are you looking for the right realtor to sell your home? Look, Craig's Realtors, we specialize in quick sales, where all parties win. Our homes average the fewest number of days on the market in Taylorville, results that are driven by our comprehensive marketing plan. As Taylorville's leader in home internet marketing, we utilize state-of-the-art equipment to create stunning photos that showcase your home's unique charm. We understand the digital first generation. Whether you're a seller or a buyer, we keep you connected. We have access to over 1,500 agents through the multiple listing service, ensuring that you never miss that perfect home. The Lady Tornadoes hosted Charleston on Thursday in a rematch from a December game that saw the Trojans throttle the Taylorville girls 74 to 36. The Lady Tornadoes didn't back down this time around with senior Grace Markwell knocking down a pair of threes to give Taylorville an early lead. Reagan Morrison added a nice drive to the hoop, but Charleston kept it close with a three from the top of the key. Natalie Snyder throws one up that comes straight back down to the basket and the Lady Tornadoes led the Trojans 13-11 after one. Charleston ties the game with a basket to open the second, but a nice dish from Maddie Altoff to Natalie Snyder puts the Tornadoes back on top. Snyder feeds Markwell for another shot from deep, but the Trojans answer with a nice drive to the basket of their own. Snyder is hacked again on her way to the hoop and completes a three-point play before Charleston comes back to tie it at 21. The Lady Tornadoes close the half with threes from Morrison, Markwell, and Brotherton to head into the break with a 32-26 lead. We'll pick things back up in the fourth quarter with the Lady Tornadoes clinging to a 46-44 lead. The Trojans open the quarter with a Bernie Jackson three to take their first lead of the second half, but Taylorville responds with a Natalie Snyder drive to the hoop. Snyder stuffs a Trojan shot attempt on the defensive end and heaves it ahead to Ellie Tippett who finishes for two. And Allison Odell three ties it back up though, but Snyder is fouled and converts from the charity stripe to put the Tornadoes back on top. Olivia Pruitt rims out a three, but Snyder is there to grab the board and puts it back in for another basket. The Trojans pull ahead by four after taking advantage of opportunities from the free throw line, but Snyder takes the ball to the hoop again and completes a three point play to get the Tornadoes back within one. Charleston swipes the Tornado pass and takes a three-point lead with a minute left in the game, but Taylorville senior Mallory Brotherton drains the biggest shot of the night to tie it back up at 60. The Trojans take a lead after another free throw from Caitlin Coffey. She misses the second and it's hauled in by Snyder. Tippett tosses it ahead to Morrison who drives the lane and is fouled to give the Tornadoes a chance for the line. She hits the first to tie it at 61, but the second rims out only to be brought down by Snyder who flicks it to Grace Markwell and she scores on the easy putback to give the Tornadoes a 63-61 lead. The tail of a girls lock down on the defensive end and steal the ball in the closing seconds to hold on and complete the two point upset over the Trojans. I just thought the kids played fantastic. I mean, they really did. They, they knuckled down when they had to towards the end of the game. Learning how to finish games is, is huge. Uh, you know, our, our, our lineups is reducing here towards the end of the season. And I know there's kids sitting on the bench that probably think they, they you know, they want to be in the game too and understand. But, you know, anytime we get a kid in, they did a fantastic job of, of helping us out to do what we needed to do, play good defense, you know, take care of the ball, those kind of things. So, you know, everybody comes off the bench contributing. 